Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, I'm just going to give you guys a reading. Um, this is for the Divine Feminines out there. Um, because the Divine Feminines are the way showers during the Ascension um, and the Great Awakening. <clears throat> Let me send you guys some blessings to begin with. Peace, love, light, oneness, unity, abundance, health, forgiveness and acceptance. Um... So yeah, uh, the Divine Feminines are the way showers and somehow um, my view on it through my spiritual practices and the downloads that I've received and stuff. In society, somehow the Divine Feminine has become um, less superior. Div the Divine Masculine has become more superior than the Divine Feminine and that is totally wrong. Um they are completely balanced so man is not superior than woman and in my opinion if anything woman is more superior than man because um women give life uh, men just give women the seed and the woman has to look after the seed nurture the seed and give birth to the seed so women are giving life so in my opinion women would be classified as god but somehow in society um, men are more superior than women, which is wrong. Um, and that will go against all religions and everything. So if you're not, if you don't want to hear any of that, then you can take your, your ass somewhere else. Because, um, yeah, we only spit facts here anyway. Because, um, yeah, woman is not, man is not superior than woman. No way. Women are actually stronger than men. Um, and women are more in touch with their emotions and... Um, men are more logical thinking and the new earth that we're creating we're setting the foundations for the new earth is where it's being led and created by the divine feminine um, the divine masculines created the old world and if you saw how the old world is going or it was well, wrapping up it's finishing but the, the way the old world went um, yeah that's um, a result of the divine masculine having his fun but now it's the um, time for the divine feminine to have her fun um, and bring the universe into balance, should I say. Um, so this is going to be a general reading. Uh, we're just going to be checking up on the on the energies of the divine feminine. Um, it's going to be a timeless reading. So when you come across this reading, is for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. Um, and if you, any of you are interested in some personal healing, um, some distance Reiki or some close contact Reiki sessions, you can get in contact with me as well. And also I offer um, another one of my services is I make colloidal silver. Um, you guys can check that out. It's an anti, natural antibacterial antiviral spray or liquid you can ingest. And if any of you are interested in any um, personal, personalized crystal necklaces, I also make them as well. Um, and just to let you guys know, um, energy doesn't have a agenda. So you can be a female with a divine masculine Im embodiment, or you could be a masculine um, masculine exterior with a divine feminine. I'm more feminine, um, and I resonate with more of the feminine energies, but I'm pretty balanced within the both. Um, and most of the women in society these days are actually divine masculines from... Um, the way society has brought them up. You need to be independent. You don't need a man and all this, which is completely wrong. Yes, you can be independent, but women are meant to be vulnerable and submissive to their man, not dominant and um, aggressive and shit. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's just check in with the divine feminine energies to see what's going on. Yeah, let's see what's, what's popping with the divine feminines. What is the divine feminines? What's going on? <coughs> So the first card is the goddess of discernment and the card says i spend my time wisely i only say yes when it is holy when it is a holy hell yes so you're being called to use your discernment divine feminines um with just things in general more to, m mostly i would say about um spending your time wisely as the card said like with people places and things look if you take a step back and have a look um, with the current energies, you, you'll see which is actually draining your energy because there are a lot, like I've done a video yesterday about protecting your energy. It's a time to protect your energy because there are a lot of energy vampires out there. Um, 
leeches and people that just want to harvest your energy because we're going through the ascension um, we're in the age of Aquarius and the split between dimensions is currently happening so we're, you're going to have people that's in the third dimension that don't want to um, level up and ascend you've got people that will be in the fourth dimension doing their shedding letting go um, and purging and then you have people entering the fifth dimension where you start to level out and um, starting to have the collective consciousness the christ consciousness as they call it um so yeah being called to use your discernment um with people places and things and um to eliminate what no longer serves your highest good so people if things are draining your energy you need to let that go if um you've got negative patterns like addictions and stuff um yeah find ways of eliminating them um and overcoming them should i say and using your discernment and and making choices that are um, for your highest good. No, not no longer making choices that you're going to regret. Like I don't know, um, yeah, things that are just going to lower your vibration. Become more conscious of your your choices and your actions at this current time. The vibes I'm in. And then the next card is Mistress of the Labyrinth, and the card says, "My soul knows the way." And the only way is through. So you're being called to go within. Um, don't look externally for you for what you want. What you want is internal. So if you want happiness, you need to go internal. If you want love, you need to go internal. If you want um, peace, you want to go internal. Everything external is a reflection of your internal world. So if you have a lot of turbulence and chaos internally, that's going to be reflected externally. And you're going to manifest people, places and things that are chaotic to you. So, um, yeah, you've been called to go within and to, um, yeah, do some, do the, do the inner work, do some healing, man. Look, feel what you're going through. So if you're feeling sad, feel that emotion. If you're feeling angry, feel that emotion. Um, most of the time, if you're feeling angry, the emotion behind the anger is hurt. So dig deep. What are you actually hurting for? Is it, from, are you still hurting from your past? From being bullied from your past maybe from being rejected from your parents as your as your past from your parents not being lo loving to you from your past childhood i don't know um but yeah you've been called to turn within and the answers are within not without divine feminines and the next card is princess of mercy the card and the card says giving is receiving the energy of the universe is merciful so you're being called to um find balance with giving and receiving if more m most of the time healers empaths light workers star seeds um shamans whatever you want to call us lot beings of light lighthouses um we're more given in nature yeah we're more given in nature um just to help others and stuff but be giving is actually a masculine energy so if you're a fem if you're uh, a female you're actually meant to be more receiving in the energy because um that's i don't chase anything i attract everything that i need comes to me um and that's more of a divine feminine energy um masculines are more giving should i say so you're being called to step more into your divine feminine energies and be open to receive um and it's also you're being called to turn the energy onto yourself get yourself to where you need to be and then you can share once your cup is full the overflowing then you can share with other people um, but yeah, you're being called to heal yourself and give to yourself at this current time, not to others. Because um, you need to get to where you need to be. You need to heal. You need to recover. You need to rest. Everything that you need to, you need to get to yourself to where you need to be. Then you can help others. Because what tends to happen is we tend to be the wounded healer. We be trying to help everyone else, but not helping ourselves. So we're, at this t current time, we're being called to help ourselves. Then we can help other people. And then the next card is the the warrior saint. And then the card says, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. So whatever you need, the universe will give you. Um, I saw a quote, quote on Instagram the other day. The universe gives you what you need, not what you want. Yeah. So, yeah, the universe will send you what you want. Not, no, you what you need, not want. So whatever you need, the, you, you're going to be taken care of. Um, so whether that's material stuff, um, abundance, wealth, 
love. Um, you're going to be taken care of, but you've got to be putting in the work. Um, don't be saying, oh, yeah, I want a partner, but then you ain't doing no, you ain't even loving yourself. Because if you're not even loving yourself, how is another person meant to love you if you don't even love yourself? Or if you're not even being genuine with yourself? If you can't tell the truth to yourself, how can you tell the truth to other people? Just check that out. Check yourself. And also what I've noticed right now as well is um, a lot of people are, the people that are not choosing to level up and ascend, they're not owning their shit. So they'll be out blaming everyone else for problems and coming to people with... If you've got people... Um, I've done this in the um, other video, um, the karmic video. If you've got a lot of people coming to you with just their problems and nothing positive, eliminate them. Because um, they're not choosing to level up. They're not choosing to see the part they had to play in any situation. They're just coming to you to dump their problems on you and to just try and lower your vibration. So be very aware of that because it's happening and it's very noticeable as well. I've noticed it a very lot. People just come to me with drama, drama, problem. It's like, dude, I don't even want to hear your shit. I've got my own shit to deal with. Uh, talk, let's talk about something positive. How are we, gonna, how are we growing and um, ascending and moving forward in life in general? And not fucking worrying about the past. The past is done, gone. The future is not here yet, but we can plan for the present moment to then... Um, then help our future, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just be mindful of them energy vampires, leeches and fucking um yeah, them demons, trust. Um and then the next card is the morning star and the card says my ego is in service for my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing. So some of you are being caught some of you may be having a bit of ego problem. Some of you may be stuck in ego and still operating from a bit of ego. If you're operating if you're coming from a place of fear, that's all ego, um greed, all like check your ego because my I've got a big ego in it, but my soul is bigger than my ego. My soul is massive. Um so What's actually meant to happen is the soul is meant to use the ego, not the ego use the soul. And on my the beginning, like before I started my journey, my ego was running the show. So you, the ego was running the vehicle, like without brakes, should I say? And then once my soul took over, like the vehicle's more leveled out, and then we got brakes, and we know where we're going now. Um, so you've been called to kind of um, try and let go of your ego attachment. Some of these. Um, Maybe having a dark night of the soul or an ego death. Um, I would recommend doing things that break down the ego. Like plant medicine um, and psychedelics do help break down the ego. Um, but that's only if you're ready. I'm not saying, yeah, go out there and do this. But from my experience, um, the doing some plant medicines actually made me look at the ego to see where the attachment is to certain things and try to practice the art of attachment as well like yoda said um try and let go of the things you fear to lose because then you live a so meaning meaningful life there's literally nothing stopping you so some of you are being called to do some e ego work some shadow work maybe um yeah just to see just to see what's going on to just yeah to make progress forward and the next card says the queen of the saintly woman and the card says i am in service of divine love i move the way love asks me to move yeah so you're being called to just operate from your heart center um love is the highest vibration in there is in the universe so you want to be trying to operate from a place of love um some of you may have a blocked heart chakra yes everyone's been um had trauma in the past broken relationships things that didn't work out and it can make you close down your heart chakra but if you close down your heart chakra you're not open to receive give and receive love unconditionally um so yeah some of these may need to work on the heart chakra and like i was saying the heart chakra is the the um the heart chakra is where the human and the divine meet yeah so that's your center of your being um if you've got a blocked heart chakra, you may be having breathing problems, heart palpitations, and um, problems with your arms and stuff. Um, but yeah, try to work, work from your heart center as much as possible during, um, yeah, because then you can start see, being forgiving, um, accepting, being loving, um, being vulnerable without um, having defense mechanisms and stuff, you know? Because it's very important. You can be open and loving uh, and vulnerable without getting hurt, if that makes sense. Like, people think, oh, yeah, I can't say how I feel because I'm going to get hurt. Not everyone's out there to hurt you. That is your ego um, 
trying to protect you through past experiences because the ego likes to the ego is just on repeat it only thinks um it's like a broken record it just re repeats cycles and thinks oh yeah this situation this relationship this job is just going to be exactly the same as the others and it's going to compare the situation to previous situations which is not true that person that new person that you might be seeing is is not the same as the old person yeah just to let you guys know well, you've got to use your discernment, yeah? Because not everyone's out there has your best interest at heart. Um, but the connections that we're getting now are actually genuine connections. And people are starting to show their true colours. The veil is getting so thin that people can't even hide their fake self no more. So if you're coming across all loving, but internally you're very bitter and mean, that's going to show. And I've seen, I've witnessed it already. <laughs> it's happening. So there ain't even no point hiding. The veil was so thin. Um, you're also maybe getting more communication and signs from your guides as well. And then the next card is the goddess of sacred sanctuary. And the card says, no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Yeah, so you're definitely turn, um, being called to go within and find inner peace within. Um don't worry about the external shit just go within and find your inner peace within once you find peace within nothing in the world can harm you so you ain't even worried about what the government's doing you ain't even worried about what's going on and this and that and certain things because you've got peace within you're comfortable you're at where you need to be nothing can harm you um some of these may be also being called to make like um your home your sanctuary as well some of you if you don't like don't feel comfortable in your home um start making it comfortable like do like paint um get new furniture make it more comfortable for you so you can feel comfortable in your home um but your first home is the vessel you need to take care of the vessel um because you have to, that's where you're actually living in doesn't matter about where your house is it's about how you're feeling inside you know if you're peace in, peaceful inside then you don't even matter where you lay your head you know as long as it's like protected and shit that's how i'm getting anyway and then the next card is the first woman and then the card says i am the voice of my body and soul i choose the life that i desire to live so yeah you you know what your heart ask your, yourself what your heart's desire is what do you want from life how do you want your perfect life to look like and feel like because you can manifest it into reality um if it like i was saying if it's not of high your highest good let it go man if it's um some what I'm getting is like some family members may be holding you down if you're the black sheep and they may, may not understand. So you don't need to cut them off. Just distance yourself from them. You don't need to tell them all your business. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and not everyone wants to see you doing well. Um, some people want to see you doing good, but not better than them. Yeah. So when they start seeing you healing and doing your thing in your journey, going out, grinding, um, saging your house, they may start hating just to let you guys know. Um, so the more in tune you get, the more spiritual stuff you'll start doing and then people start saying oh like you're do doing weird stuff and da, 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 but you're just becoming more in tune and they don't understand what you're experiencing um so yeah live the life that you want to live do what you want to do don't compare yourself to no one else's journey because their your journey is unique to you like their journey is unique to them be your unique self be honest with yourself be true to yourself if you can't be true to anyone else make sure you're true to yourself yeah because there's a lot of people out there that are trying to fit in and <laughs> trying to do certain things when they can't even do it to themselves like yeah everyone wants to be like everyone else but they don't even know who they are so they're becoming the crowd stand out you was, i was born to stand out not fit in yeah i'm not trying to be like everyone else fuck that that's boring where you want to walk around wearing the same tracksuits lips done hair done exactly the same looking the, like the next brother or yeah along that why why <laughs> that's boring <laughs> why do i want to look like you fam i'm unique there's only one me there's only one me and i'll make that known i make that very known just to let you guys know and then the last card is queen of the outsiders i have i i have arrived i am where i will always be in love so yeah you're at exactly where you need to be at in your journey whatever you're experiencing that's exactly where you're meant to be at um and like and, and once again it's trying to tell you to um stand in your power be present um work for your heart center 
um, try to see the world through loving eyes and because what I've noticed recently on my journey is I'm starting to see people when people are acting negatively should I say I'm starting to see it as their past trauma is coming to the surface so if people are being mean or being angry or act in certain ways I'm seeing it as their past trauma they may not be consciously aware of it but I can see it um, so if someone's acting very aggressively it's like man I can see you're hurting there's deep hurt buried. You may not be aware of the hurt, but there's hurt, you, are, you are hurting. And I can see that. I am very aware of you hurting. So I can give you that space to scream and shout and do what you're doing. Because I can see your soul. Like one gift of mine that I'll, tell, um, I'll share with you guys. I can, I, when I talk, I talk to people's soul, not their ego. Like I can see your soul. So I can see where you're at in it. Or what you're going through. Um, and I can help assist with that um, if you're open to it. But um, yeah, so you're being called to be more centered, step into your power, be who you really are, divine feminines. Don't try to fit in, um, don't be people pleasing, be who you want to be. Um, and like I was saying before, like this is like another card of that. Um, work through the heart chakra, and love is the highest vibration there is in the universe. So no matter what people say, as long as you've got an open heart and you come from a good place, the universe will give you that back threefold. If you're coming from a negative place, um, like you're coming across, oh yeah, I'm loving, oh, I love you, oh, peace, love and light and all this, but deep down you're fucking vexed and angry at the world and don't want to see people make it and doing it for own personal gain, the universe will give you that. So things will stop working out, your money will start getting cut, things will start getting very hard for you because you're being false, you're not being genuine. If you want to be bad-minded, be bad-minded, but be bad-minded fully, yeah? Don't be coming across all loving and all that shit. If you want to be, if you're bad-minded inside, be bad-minded. Yeah, be genuine with yourself, yeah? If you want to be loving and open-hearted, do that fully. Be genuine with yourself. Yes, I've got, I got a big heart. I'm open for loving. So I'll be hugging strangers and shit. And some people may take it the wrong way. Oh, yeah, he's trying to move to me. No, dog, I'm not trying to move to you, love. I'm just open-hearted and i got a big heart. And that's it. You know what I mean? Not not trying to get in your knickers and that. I'm fucking just got a big heart. Like, I love everyone. Fucking, I'll be hugging fucking homeless people on the street and shit. Don't mean I want to try 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 to be best friends with them and that i'm just like i can see you for who you are we're the same you're a soul and i'm a soul we're just having a human experience you know what i'm saying but um yeah that's your reading guys well ladies should i say divine feminines out there um very interesting reading because the um divine feminines are the way showers at this time so um yeah you've been called to step into your power take lead be your leadership be the leader don't dampen yourself down to try to fit in anymore. That time's done. Um, you're being called to be who you really are. Step into your power. Um, be confident. Um, yeah, man. And if you like that reading, guys, like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy. Um, and for the you Divine Feminines out there, hit the comments or send me an email to let me know if that resonated, if you feel like it is where you're at in your journey. Because the Divine Feminines are the first to awaken. Um... And then the divine masculines follow suit. So if you're on the twin flame journey and you're the divine feminine, you're probably awakened first and your divine masculine is probably still unconscious. So you're the way shower. Um, yeah, if any of you are interested in the personal reading, send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. And um, I'm going to put all my information in the drop down menu because it's a long video. It won't let me, um, I can't edit it. So um, yeah, anyway, but peace, love and light tribe. And I'm going to hit you guys up real soon. Thanks for watching.